and now to this. This morning, we're teaching you all how to perform CPR when someone goes into cardiac arrest. Yeah, according to the American Heart Association, there are more than 350,000 cardiac arrests in the United States every single year, and only 40% of those people ended up getting help from a bystander. Our Hany Ashivi with us this morning with some EMS workers ready to teach us another pretty important skill. Hey, Hannah. Hi, good morning, Lee and Sharon. At 5 a.m., we showed you guys how to perform hands-only CPR. But right now, we're back with Rob Kutcher from the South Portland Fire Department to teach us how to use an AED. Rob, what's an AED? Yeah, so it's an automated external defibrillator. Really big word, right? Um, what it actually is is a portable device that is capable of delivering a shock to somebody who's in cardiac arrest to hopefully correct the heart rhythm and start their heart again. And when should someone use it? So we talked about recognizing cardiac arrest, right, which is super important, then calling for help. The next thing you should do is have someone get an AED if one is available and put it on. So we're talking early chest compressions and early defibrillation to have good outcomes for these calls. So Ella right now doing chest compressions yes. and then we're gonna have... Yeah, so Josh is gonna demonstrate, this is an AED trainer, so he's gonna demonstrate putting it on. The training to use an AED and why the general public can use it, the training literally is to turn the device on and follow the prompts. Okay. So Josh is gonna turn it on, and he's gonna do exactly what the machine tells him to do. He's gonna make sure that there's bare skin, because the pads need to go on bare skin. And it literally guides you through it. It guides you through the whole process. It won't go ahead of you. It won't skip ahead. It's waiting to see that those pads, which have pictures on them for placement, are in place. Once it's in place, it's going to direct the compressor to stop. It's going to an analyze that heart rhythm. And if it sees a rhythm that it can shock, it's going to advise you to deliver a shock. So you're going to want to make sure that no one's touching the patient. And you're going to see the red shock button start flashing on the AED. Josh will push that button, deliver a shock, and now Ella's gonna go right back to compressions again. Okay, That's, can I deliver more than one shock wave? You can, that cycle is gonna repeat every two minutes. So at two minutes, it's gonna direct her to stop again, it's gonna analyze, and it's gonna either shock mm. or not shock if it sees that rhythm. Rob, let me ask you something. Does the, good, does the Good Samaritan law also apply for the use of this device? It does, right? So the first word in the device is automated. The device is literally made to work on its own. All you need to do is turn it on and follow the prompts. So those good Samaritan laws apply for this as well because you're assisting somebody who's having a medical emergency. And one of the big things that you're pushing for more companies here in Maine is to have one of these handy. Yeah, so it's about time, right? Um, survivability in cardiac arrest goes down about 10% a minute. So the faster we can get these devices on, really the better off we are. And the way to get them on faster is to have more of them available. Rob, thank you so much for teaching us these great skills. Lee and Sharon, coming up at 6, we will be showing you guys what to do if somebody is choking. Back to you guys. Oh, that's a good one too. All right, thank you, Hannah.